Hello and welcome. I'm Sachin Brahme with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we'll talk about how to install WebLM 4.7 and upload license file for Proactive Contact 5.0. WebLM is the licensing mechanism used by Proactive Contact, and for Proactive Contact 5.0, the WebLM version is 4.7. First, you have to get the ISO file from the Avaya support website. You then need to either burn the ISO on a DVD or FTP it to the CPU itself. Then you mount the DVD or the directory containing the ISO file as applicable. And then install the software using the installer script provided. Let's see how that is done. For this demonstration, I have already downloaded and FTP'd the ISO file to the Proactive Contact CPU. And as you can see, I've logged into the system as sroot user. I will first go into the location where I've stored the .iso image. And as you can see in the temp directory, I have the .iso file available. Now I have to mount this file to the MNT CD ROM directory. And the command is I press enter and the file is mounted. Now if I go into the MNT CD-ROM directory, if I do ls-l here, I'll see the contents of the .iso file. To install the WebLM software, I need to invoke the install.sh script. I'll do that. And as you can see, the WebLM software has been installed. Once the installation is completed, it also gives me a warning saying, please restart the Apache Tomcat service. So I'll restart the Tomcat 6 service manually. And the service has been restarted. So that's how you'll be installing this software. So let's now also verify if the Tomcat service is running successfully or not. So you can see the service Tomcat 6 is running successfully. So that concludes our installation. Now let's see the next step that is installing the license file on the WebLM. So for that first I log on to the system and I have to get the WebLM URL. So for that I'll type the command. This fetches me the WebLM URL from the master.cfg. I'll copy this and paste it on a Internet Explorer. I'll replace the commas with a colon. Press enter and then it will take me to the WebLM license administration page. I'll click on that. It asks me for the username and password. The first time username and password will be admin and WebLM admin. Once I input that, it will then ask me to change the current password and set a new password for this. I set the new password and then it comes back to the login page again. I log in this time with the new password. Now it's logged in. And since right now there is no license file available in the system, it has come to the page where it is asking me to install the license file. So I'll browse to the location where I've stored my license file. I'll select my license file and hit open. And then I click install. It tells me that the license file is installed successfully. If I click on a via proactive contact, it will list me the number of agent licenses, the number of outbound lines, etc. With this, the license file has been installed. And that concludes our demonstration. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, you may write to us at mentor at or at Avaya Mentor on Twitter. Thank you for choosing Avaya.